Hi friends, I'm Prairie Vintage. My name is Linda. I'm an intuitive reader here on YouTube and I'm doing something a little different. Um, there's a collective message coming through. This is not going to resonate for a lot of you. In fact, this is very different because I will be doing some crystal ball scrying um, and this is using intuition and whatever I see could be figuratively or literally. So it's up to you to really tune in on your intuition regarding what I see, which will come through as images and also what I hear from spirit. We'll pull some Leonard Monk cards um, as well as the Finn de Sickle um, Kipper cards here to see what we can confirm. But I do want you to lean in on your intuition here in regards to what it is that I am going to be seeing and hearing. And there might be a lot of numbers and names that come through when I do this. So bear with me because it may not be your complete message. And it could be a lot of messages coming in and out. And in and out could mean it resonates for you part of the way. Okay. And then it might come back part of the way through the reading. So you'll see as we get into this what I mean because it is difficult to explain here although this is how it works for me when I do scrying through the crystal ball which is nothing that I've been doing on this channel but I was called to deliver this message okay so I'm getting something very strong right now from spirit um getting a lot of fire energy Aries Leo Sagittarius I'm also seeing the third eye so I think there is something here intuitively that is really coming through um, for someone here who might be resonating as a fire sign to act on. So they might be sitting on this, not taking action on this. Now, if they're not acting on this, I feel like their intuition is getting louder and louder. So maybe there's a lot of unease. Uh, I'm seeing someone with glasses. Okay, and I'm also seeing uh, the name Jess. And I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing two people now. Okay, so I'm seeing two people. I'm seeing a door opening. So the door is opening and I feel like one person's coming through the door. I'm also seeing a dog. A dog could represent loyalty here. It, um, hmm. I heard pig as well <laughs> sorry some of these messages might be a little weird so like piglet a little pig but back to the dog the dog is barking um the dog is barking and i still see the door open so it's like um someone's protecting their door but this dog um yeah it's like really barking it's getting agitated here um Okay, let's see what else is coming through. I'm seeing the uh, Ace of Cups here, which is an emotional new beginning in the tarot, but it is upside down. So somebody could have recently ended something with someone here or felt like um, they couldn't extend a cup of love. Okay, I'm seeing kind of like a um, Halloween mask. Hopefully that's not my reflection. <laughs> I'm being funny. Um, yeah, Halloween mask, um, which I think this is representing somebody wearing a mask here. Also, Halloween could be significant. Something about October as well is coming through. Now I'm seeing the number 13. 13 or 31. 31 of October, most likely that is Halloween coming through again. And the 13th. Uh, could be important. I'm also seeing a skull, uh, which is like the death card, but I'm seeing the teeth. Um, I'm seeing the teeth of the skull here, very straight. Um, it's almost like a wicked smile or an evil smile here. Why is this person smiling, spirit? What's this about? Yeah, I feel like there is... Um, with that skull it was kind of like the death of something and something to look forward to someone smiling here but it did it kind of almost looked like a um insincere smile 
seeing the name George, Georgie, Jenny, Carrie, Caleb, Robert, Misty, Missy. Okay, I know the names could um could be nicknames of energy uh, around you as well. Okay, now I'm seeing um, a mouth here. It's like lips almost, like a kiss. And I just heard the spirit say the kiss of death here. So somebody's ending something here with the skull, the death kissing something goodbye and being happy about it or like snarly about it i'm seeing the door now shut now the door slams shut um i don't see the dog anymore um now the door cracked open again okay so someone could be coming in and out coming in and out here um i just heard spirits say you lock them out so you might have locked somebody out here Mm -hmm. I'm seeing purple, color purple, which is crown chakra. Again, back to the downloads, you might be getting intuitively back to that energy with that third eye as well, being open and seeing something or needing to act on something is coming through again. I'm seeing water now which represents emotions here and need to act on emotions or seeing emotions clearly. Now I just saw like um, a shooting star, something about a, a wish and a, making a wish here um, and, a, and a hope that fizzled out, I heard. A wish or a hope that fizzled out. And I'm seeing a hotel, I'm seeing a corridor, I'm seeing a bunch of um, wall sconces lights all along the wall here this could be something you're going to see or are seeing or it could be again um not literal but figuratively um walking down a hallway with a bunch of doors so lots of options potentially that door um is cracked open again i keep seeing this door opening and closing okay now the door completely disappeared so Maybe there's like an energy coming in and out here that's making you uneasy. I, I feel okay. Now I'm seeing, um, I just heard a crazy hair. Someone with really like an Afro, like really out of control hair. I don't know why it's a crazy hair, but that's what I heard. Um, like, yeah, an Afro here. And now I'm seeing a uh, Knight of Wands holding a wand. And I'm seeing a canoe. Okay, Spirit, what is all this stuff about? Yeah, the canoe is upside down and going around. So that's the canoe here. Mm. Okay, so it's kind of giving me Six of Swords type energy following a um a lighthouse or a lantern guiding the way i feel like somebody's leaving a stressful situation here uh guiding themselves out and they might have felt really upside down or uncomfortable going through a transition uh now i'm seeing a sailboat so i feel like there's a transition here uh okay now i see what's that evil um person from um, Sleeping Beauty. What's her name? Maleficent. It kind of looks like that. Yeah, totally. And all black. Kind of also looks like... What's that guy from... <laughs> Sorry, this is really weird. I don't know why I'm seeing all this. Okay, like uh, cartoons I'm seeing here. Like cartoons could be significant. Maybe kids are watching cartoons, but this is also like the evil villain here. Um, but I see the X-Men, what's that, Skeletor? I'm seeing Skeletor. Um, 
Hmm. So, and now I'm seeing a tribal mask. It's almost like, um, yeah, and now this like malfeasant type person is picking up the mask, putting it on their face. What is this about, spirit? I just heard spirit say, in order to do like the dirty work, this person had to put a mask on or they weren't themselves here. Okay, now I'm seeing a deer, I'm seeing a kangaroo. Hmm. Australia could be significant. Uh, the deer speaks of innocence here. Yeah. What is this energy? So it's weird. Like, um, I'm still kind of in channeling mode here, you guys, but I see and hear, and I don't really feel, which is really weird. I guess I could have scried before I did this reading, but this is interesting that I'm seeing and hearing, but I'm not feeling that could be a thing. Someone's not in touch with their feelings, and now I'm seeing a bunch of water again, which is the emotions. I feel like somebody's third eye is opening about their emotions getting in touch with their feelings, being the villain here, coming in and out. And now I see I'm wearing a mask and doing things. Okay, now I see a storm at sea. A storm at sea here. Um, stationary, I heard. Looking for the lighthouse, but the light went off in the lighthouse. I'm seeing city, um, city buildings. Wow, I'm seeing a lot of buildings here. Um, downtown. This looks almost like also an industrial maybe area because I see a lot of smoke uh, coming out. A lot of buildings. Um, yeah, just for pollution. Like, it's a lot of pollution. A lot of buildings. I know. Um, Seeing a cruise ship here. It's a vacation. Coming back from vacation, I just heard. Okay. I'm seeing the moon. Divine feminine energy. I'm seeing a full moon. Something could be significant about this full moon. Yes. Spirit said yes. I'm seeing, hearing Leo. I'm seeing Saturn as well. So heavy Saturn energy. Saturn is Capricorn and Aquarius. Could be significant. Okay, now I'm seeing two full moons. And there's two full moons in August. Okay, so what about these two full moons? Something about in between the two full moons. So I believe the full moon is on the 31st of August, and we had a full moon at the beginning of August. So something significant about this time period, hence probably why I was pulled to do this reading. Um, I just heard cover your ears. I'm seeing like ear muffs, but like um, construction kind, like the big earmuffs you put over your ears something you don't want to hear someone doesn't want to hear something that they have to work on or they're working on something but they don't want to they don't want to hear now i'm seeing the two full moons again wow okay um i'm seeing the lighthouse again yeah i'm seeing the lighthouse Okay, now I'm seeing the park, I'm seeing trees. Hmm. Okay, this is giving me heavy um 
like the Lena Moncard uh, community, socializing, networking, party in a park, in a forest? Doesn't really look like a forest. Looks like a sitting area in the forest here, or in the forest, in the park. Like a, a yeah. Mm, I'm also seeing a gas station. I'm seeing a train. Like, um, I just heard fast moving, like a fast moving train. That's what the gas station. It's like a rest stop. Let's have a rest stop here. Hmm. I just heard Danny. Miguel. Mike. Sally. Salia. Sand. Sandy? Sandy? Sandy. Sally, did I say? 31, I'm seeing again coming through quite strong. I'm hearing Leo again. Taurus, I just heard. Aries. I'm seeing the Emperor. Someone needs to act on their intuition. I'm seeing somebody here um, with their eyes closed. And the full moon with like uh, their eyes closed. So it's like closing the intuition. Okay. I'm seeing that door open again. And I see a feather, um, a black feather. Spirit said belong to crow. Crows come from other worlds, delivering messages. There's a message here coming to you. I heard from the shadows or from the darkness, unexpectedly from something here that was unknown yes that was unknown in the shadows can they trust this message what is this message not really getting an answer here i'm seeing um a joystick like one of those old school computer joysticks like a controller of sorts, controlling something here. Um, okay. I am also seeing a satellite, a big satellite dish, controlling transmission. Hmm, controlling the transmission. Don't know what that means. Somebody might know what that means. Okay, I'm starting to get a little dizzy, so I'm going to slowly ease away from this reading, and then we'll pull some Leonard Mall cards here. I'm seeing a wrench. Um, yeah, like a wrench. Okay, slowly, slowly, my eyes. Oh gosh. Okay, that is very, very um different for me to do haven't done that in a minute okay so spirit that was a lot of messages can we button down what is the takeaway for anything that was missed here for the viewer out of all that crazy speak what exactly are they needing to know about this collective reading 32 we said 31 was significant despair there's the dog not hiring so someone feeling out in the cold it's a hat eyes closed looks like nighttime people behind okay sitting down Dogs about loyalty, and it says despair. Someone feeling down and out here. Mm. Thief. It's coming in reverse. I'm going to take that into consideration here. Um, 24. 
23 facing that way and 24 facing the other way. So there is some sort of succession here in reverse. Thief. Thief. Seven of Swords energy. There's a lantern here. I was kind of seeing a lantern similar to that, but it was handheld. Okay, so it's like a... Uh, well, it looks like he's walking away from the, the lantern. Seven. Message. We were hearing, um, you're getting a message here. Um, some communication, some message coming in for sure. We have old school telephone and ink. So for some of you guys, it might be a phone call. For others of you guys, it might be um, through an email of sorts or even a written uh, through the mail. But it's kind of more old school here. You're getting a message, and I feel like this message is... Um, I don't know. I asked if you could trust it, but look, despair, thief, like, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let's pull some more. You have wealthy man, and it was wanting to come in reverse. Okay, so this one was also wanting to come in reverse. We have despair. The thief in reverse this is like seven of swords in reverse. It's like the thief coming to apologize or return what the thief has stolen. Wealthy man in reverse. Like, this man is looking for employment here, not hiring. It looks like he's five of pentacles. So I feel like someone feels as though they've lost their wealth. Yeah, and look at, this is kind of reminds me of the same man wearing blue with the top hat here. He's removed his hat. Okay, wealthy man in reverse. The number 13 and if you reverse it it's 31 31 32 23 24 13 7 okay let's keep going and the 24th is in between the two full moons the 24th okay so of this month false person wearing a mask did see someone wearing a mask. Eight is August. August 24th. August 30th, 13th. Did we pass that? We did. August 31st, though, I'm feeling here. 23rd could be significant as well. Leo energy with August, September as well. Um, or Virgo energy. Yes, because we have 32, which kicks into the beginning week of September. Mm -hmm. Okay. False person. Family room. 21. Kind of looks like a hotel. I was seeing some sort of hotel stay. Maybe some of you guys are staying with family somewhere on a vacation of sorts. This confirmation. I'm not quite sure what the message here is outside of maybe the most important part here is somebody who's wronged you potentially, who might have had wealth, who had been wearing a mask here, um, and isn't wasn't being truthful no feeling despair here although i feel like you feel this person might have been loyal or you've been loyal to this person and they're not wanting to see something here again not wanting to see we have key that is the solution the answer mountain obstacle and Bear, boss, overbearing, controlling, protective. Mm. Okay. I feel like um, 
there's an answer or some piece of information here that could be the answer, but I feel like something's very fixed. Something's being very stubborn about working with the answer or with the solution. We have rats, annoyances, annoyances. That dog barking was kind of annoyed at something too. It's like a constant nagging, a constant nagging. Okay, stork, there's that delivery of a message here of some sort of news. Normally the stork brings good news delivery of something sometimes they deliver i mean sometimes they deliver it could be the delivery of a message about a new birth but i feel with the rats here it might be delivering something maybe you can't trust so much yeah fox this could be an overbearing boss Okay, for some of you guys, you might be dealing with an overbearing boss here. But I feel like the fox is someone who is a little sly, a little sneaky. Might be delivering something disguised as something else, but there's some sort of annoyance here or a rat. Some sort of lie here. Might be deceptive. I feel like you're trying to find a solution here to a situation that is quite, yeah, like um, challenging here. Maybe you feel really stuck here by someone who is quite overbearing or fixed or controlling. Or they could literally be your boss here. Okay, I'm going to do, since I do feel like this is maybe giving us more information, I'm going to do just one more layer of these before... We ask Spirit for final words. Spirit, what does the collective need to know about this message? What do they need to know? Kind of getting the don't trust. Okay, birds is all about gossip. Multiple people gossiping. That's also communication via phone. Communication. Rats, communication. I feel like there's a bunch of people you can't trust here. Um, or lying, or someone's communicating something here. Moon. Now, I don't normally read Letter Mom. Moon is deception. The moon is like creative energy. It's like having hopes and wishes and desires here to be creative and to follow our creative pursuits. But I'm feeling there's something here about illusions, not seeing clearly. Maybe someone pretending to be your friend, pretending to be loyal. Pretending to have an answer for you. Yes. I think someone's trying to sell you something. Like, not like literally, but like sell you an idea or sell a, uh, sell a story to you. And they might be quite overbearing about it in order for like telling you that that's the way forward or solution here to something that I feel it's... Um, I don't feel you can trust it. Dog. There's the dog again. Loyalty. And it was wanting to be in reverse. Yeah, deception, I feel, with this moon. So a friend pretending to be your friend. Um, I don't like delivering these types of messages, you guys. Only take it if it resonates. But usually with these collective readings, it's coming through as a message for someone. Look, crossroads. I was seeing that. Like, um... This is reminding me of that park there and having to kind of go either which way. Um, Crossroads is all about a decision. So maybe this person comes through with some communication or a message, delivering something that looks like some sort of news where you got to make a decision, but it's based on, I feel like, false information or this person trying to trick you with something. Lily, this is all about sensuality, but also about having the experience, um, like the tenure experience, sensuality, maturation. I think you're too 
wise here. You're too experienced to fall into any sort of trap here is what spirit is saying. You're too experienced here. Here's the ring. It was wanting to come in reverse. So the ring is a contract. It could be an obligation. It could be a commitment of sorts. It could be an actual offering of something here to solidify something. So, yeah, you might be receiving a contract. If you're getting a contract, okay, if a contract's coming in here, um, where are we seeing it here? Message, paper here. If you're getting a contract from your boss here, okay, you're thinking your boss is your friend here, could be something... Um, career-wise about a contract, okay, that I would read this thoroughly, okay, um, because I mean, in Leonard Mom, the Fox doesn't necessarily mean that it is something that is deceiving, could just mean career, contract, contract about employment here, and look, despair, someone was looking for employment, so that could just be your message, okay, you could have <laughs> skipped out a long time ago, because that was your only message, is I feel like you're getting, you're getting information about a contract for work that's for sure for one of you guys i would trust it but just read this contract make sure you know what you're getting into okay uh i feel like it is safe and i feel like it is something you can trust although please read the contract for a lot of you guys though i feel like this is coming up because i feel like there is someone coming through here um who is being deceptive who's offering something here trying to deceive you and it could be someone who's you've resonated as your friend, as a boss. People could be siblings with the birds here. This is siblings. Okay, so let's just ask Spirit here for guidance. Final messages. Anything that wants to come through in these cards that can be taken as guidance here. Anything I've missed for Beautiful Collective in regards to this message. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm so blessed. What do we have? We have courtship. Okay, so this is like... Four of Wands, Two of Cups, Two People, hmm. sitting in the park. I see the initials C and M could be significant. We were getting some M names and some C names here as well when I was doing the scrying. So courtship, old friend I just heard, old friend. So somebody maybe who's been by your side or pretending to be by your side, old friend, courtship, sudden wealth. And look, it was kind of coming in reverse here again. We have wealthy men. Okay, so I feel, you guys, for those of you guys who were having hard times with financial wealth, I feel like that's coming to an end here, okay? I feel like you're coming into some sudden wealth here, coming out of a period where you were needing to either find employment or come into some wealth. Um, and I do feel like you could potentially be hearing from a friend, from an old time friend or someone here who is trustworthy. Um, and for those of you guys who have someone coming in here, look, the gift I was telling you, the ring, gift, offering, sudden wealth in reverse. So 17th coming through as well. If somebody is offering you something and you don't trust it the first message we were seeing was the third eye the intuition listening to it needing to take action here so i think that very first message was if your intuition is telling you to take action in a way here that feels intuitively right you're being called to do this i feel like somebody is coming through with some sort of a gift here and it could be pretending to be something that it's not with sudden wealth in reverse only if you feel like this person is shady, this person is deceptive, they might want to take you to the park to do this. You're being divinely guided by your spirit guides here throughout this. So trust your intuition here. Yeah, look, you're being watched by angels here okay um and i just also heard like see this archway it kind of looks like a doorway but it's bricked that opening and closing door i feel like something about closing it forever sealing that door forever 
Uh -huh. Wow, okay. And that is a decision here with crossroads. I think you're going to have to make a decision here. And look, this gift looks all shiny and a red bow. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up here. Um, I think this message was for someone. I'm sorry, it was a little bit well, like lots of information. I'm not sure if it all resonated for you guys, but that's definitely what I was intuitively seeing, hearing, and feeling here. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this. I will see you soon. Have a nice night. Bye.